Marcus so, and, you see uh, that? See that guy down there? That's Marcus. He's a genius. So he has a Cane Corso and a Roomba. And one day, the Cane Corso took a shit on the floor and the Roomba vacuumed it up. It didn't vacuum it up. It smeared it and then bumped it against every baseboard and wall and across the whole house. And broke the Roomba. Yep. So they put it in the dishwasher to clean it out and then returned it to Costco. Saying there's a no, false. I'm not even making that and shit And the up. lady at the Costco counter says, well, they said, oh, it's just throwing a code, we can't get it to work. She's like, well, at least it didn't run through dog poop like all the stories I've been hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I work here. Now it's you again. Check this out. We got ourselves a small twin cam build. Shane, the man over here, is knocking it out. It's awesome, uh, the shenanigans from this morning. I'm not gonna mark a zero. Mark a fucking zero. Am I the only one who gives a shit about the rules? What do we got going, Shane? Tear down right now. You haven't actually told me what's going on in this big bad boy, and I haven't looked at the RO yet. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it's like Christmas every time. So this is what we're gonna do. Got a 2013 Street Glide. We're gonna do, we're gonna keep it a 103, but we're gonna make it a high compression 103. We're gonna run a full sack head pipe, SNS Mark 45 mufflers. That's super great. <laughs> we're gonna do a fueling uh, OE plus oil pump and wood triple five cams. Should give it a tremendous lift from idle all the way to redline over stock. And it's going to be brilliant. You'll see. Well, people have been asking for the twin cam builds and I mean, we do them, but we just hammer them out. Yeah, so, we don't really video them or show them or do anything like that. So, so now, you know, let's video one. And this is a great, this is a great streetable, super affordable setup. And he doesn't More really- power. Yeah, he doesn't really want to do, uh, you know, it's kind of on a budget, so we're going to reuse the cylinders. We're going to mic them out and make sure that they're they're good, but they should be fine. So we'll just put the new pistons in the in the same cylinders, run it down the road. And I think we're doing injectors, too. Yeah. We'll be back. We'll take a look at the parts when they get lined up. Parts. It's what's for breakfast. What do we got here? I think Frodo's all wrapped up in that web. So there's the twin cam full sack X pipe. This is a Milwaukee 8. So you can see a little bit different tuning between this pipe and that pipe on the X chamber. But this guy's done a really good job tuning the pipes so you can get optimum low, mid, and high, and top end power out of them. So these are the goodies that we're putting in this. This uh, 103, we're gonna go with wood, triple five cams. As I mentioned before, super great mid, top end. Uh, the low end is not quite as punchy as some of the other ones, but all around, it's a really fantastic, fantastic cam, especially for a build like this. We're doing stock head, stock throttle body, just going to uh, give it a little bit more breath. We're doing the fueling, OE plus, Oil pump, far superior to the OEM pump. I mean, when you're going this far, why not? I mean, this is a super affordable performance part that I just think it's a no-brainer. If you're not gonna do the whole the whole plate and pump and everything, this is such a good upgrade because you're gonna get more consistent oil pressure, better flow throughout the motor. It's a great addition that we always do. We always put on the uh, pinion gear the press fit pinion gear. I know we've talked a lot about this in the past. Updated billet cam chain tensioners. Better tension from better tensioners. Because tensioners, tension. Screaming Eagle 103 hyper compression pistons. Push rods, gaskets and stuff. One of our favorite air cleaners, the Stealth air cleaner. It's great, a variety of covers you can put on here, including the OEM. Plus, this, the, one of the cool things about this air filter is you can 
as you upgrade the motor to more and more and more, you can keep adding to this air filter as well so that it is really, really versatile. It's a, kind of a one-stop shop. Hey, there's Aaron. It's good times. Aaron's in a really good mood today. Just found out he won a lot of money. He gets that way when he's really excited. Guy can't even eat lunch around here. What? Guy can't even eat lunch around here. Oh, I didn't know you were at lunch. I was just like, no, I'm scarfing down lunch, and then you started. I thought we were doing this. So did I, and then you left. I was like, hey, did Aaron get off the Hey, I never, I, I never leave. I can't leave. You like that? Oh, we're doing it right now. But, but no, overnight the parts. Get the shit here, in, out, get on with our lives. 0, 0.0 room for error. Yeah. None. And he says, but we already have three engine builds going. I'm like, yep, so what's one more? <laughs> Taskmaster. Hey, Steve. Hey. So how many cats do you have? 13? 14? No. I got rid of most of them. I just have the main G and two more. And then two more? So you're down to three? Yeah. Does your house still stink? No, it's never stunk. We got the Roombas. Remember when you didn't have to tighten the piston jets every because time? Because they're all rings? Because the cylinders came out good. 3.875 is standard bore, 2000 swear limit. And it was within the 2000, so it was about one to one and a half, depending on the X and Y axis. And they were only uh, a half of a thousandth out around. Nice. From X to Y on only two different points. The twin cams were always so good with that. The M8s yeah. tend to warp real bad, and part of it's probably because the spigot doesn't touch the doesn't touch the outside of the. Uh, these are the cylinders that came off the bike with about 40,000 40, miles on them. I just cleaned them up and rehoned them. A nice 45 degree cross hatch on it. Set the ring end gap. You ready to rock and roll? You know, in Vietnam, they have a term for that. Run it. Run it. <laughs> the indicator of power. Indicator of power. <laughs> By the book. By the book. Baffle of power. Like the bike just gets <laughs> yeah. off the lift. That bike's like, I walked up, I was like, shh, 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 ran off. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, puddle, he like drew a strudel on it. So we strudel. start pointing down, and he's like, what'd I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were standing there, so I had to sneak up behind you yeah. and like, you're like, I've watched off. Files, you know. I know how all this blood splatter works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. Well, well, pretty much with bikes, though, yeah. yeah. I know how the leaks work. Up, that shit just slung about. Leave room for Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Seventh grade dance right here. All right, guys. If you're looking to have something built but don't have all the cheddar now, we got it solved. Moonshine Harley Davidson has in-house financing from anything from exhaust upgrades to full motor builds. These whole things. So it's in-house financing, Moonshine Harley Davidson. Multiple options available. We do one-year terms, two-year terms three year terms or 60 days, same as cash, interest waived. So if you're interested, please contact us. Call the number below if you're interested in the financing. We need some basic info, it takes a couple minutes, and we'll see if we can get you all set up. Thank you. <laughs>